Hi everyone, I'm Tiffany Young with IDA TV and I'm here with M, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about her artwork. Um, what was the inspiration behind it? Hi everybody. Uh, yeah, so um, I've been creating these symbols my whole life. You know, when you're not paying attention in math class and you're drawing on the side of your notepad, you know, you're doodling basically. Mm -hmm. But as I got more involved, I realized that I'm actually channeling a language. Something is coming out of me that's not English or French. It's, I'm act, there's a language coming through me. So I find that I go to different areas myself and just draw and it, what comes through me is kind of that energy of wherever I'm at or what I'm feeling. So this has been pandemic vibe going through it and trying to find the good in the midst of all the bad that's happening. So that's what this is for me. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense? Yeah, definitely right. makes sense. <laughs> and um, tell us a little bit more about um, the 30 days, 30 paintings. Um, where did that idea come about? Excellent question. Uh, so I have had the honor of working with Viva LA, and they sponsored me to be here at the LA Art Show. So one, kudos, thank you all for the opportunity. But also, since they knew that I created art in different energetic areas, they were like, well, let's make this into your artwork and move it into the LA Art Show. So they built me an art truck and we drove to different areas and kind of feeling what needed the most. We went to Runyon Canyon, Griffith Observatory, like all the iconic locations that you would see in old Hollywood, but also now today and really hone in on that. So each one, the color, the, the size of it, everything resembles that particular location. So big, big, uh, a big piece done, and you can't see it here, but uh, you can cut to it. Mm -hmm. uh, Christmas morning, I wasn't able to go fly to see my family, mm -hmm. so um, I had Christian take me to Runyon Canyon Christmas morning, 6 a.m., pulled out my big blue canvas to match the sky, and I drew and I created that. And then next, and it, and it was so beautiful, like the clouds started circling around my head, hummingbirds were flying over me. It was, it was magical. So that piece is up here today. And then Christmas evening, I did the Griffith, Griffith Observatory. And that at night, come on, it was magical. The, the, the stars were shining. I did it right in front of the Astronomer's Monument. And so the energy from that just penetrating through to anyone that kind of looks at that piece. So that's kind of where my art is at right now. <laughs> Feel me yeah, though? Yeah. yeah. So, so you took um, what was going on with this whole pandemic and everything and you channeled that into something that was light. beautiful and yeah. light and stuff. So yeah. really, yeah, that's really exciting. Where can we find your stuff? So uh, right now, Instagram is the best way to find me. It's uh, mego, M-E-G-O underscore street art. What's next? Yeah. Very good question. So I want to do I want to create art on all of Mother Gaia's mm -hmm. chakra systems and really start trying to heal the grid system that way. I've found this been influential, so imagine doing it in certain parts of the world that really could use that upliftment. Yeah. That's, that's the next plan. Yeah, yeah. Well, I really felt that too. I mean, just looking at your artwork is like, um, when you think about like the different senses, like visually, it's like very healing. Thank you. Um, so I felt that. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. yeah, I love it. Thank you. Yeah. I always love hearing that because for me it's like I, I see it, but I always love feeling what other people are getting from it. So exactly. thanks for yeah. the validation. So thank you for sharing about your art and um, talking to us. And uh, we're really excited to uh, follow your journey on this. Can't wait to have you aboard. And thank you for the energy exchange, y'all. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. <laughs> thank you so much. Take care. <laughs>